Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have a new room for MI A1 which is one of my favorite ROM called Nitrogen OS and this is based on Android 8.1 with the security patch of 1st April 2018. So guys this was one of my favorite ROM and the first ROM to get Android 8.1 on any other device and the performance of this ROM is at its best. So guys I've been using this ROM since morning and no lags nothing till now everything is working fine. First of all this will be the first look of your room and long pressing home screen will take you to the launcher setting here you can customize a launcher you have many options to change the icon mask after that you can enable or disable new application icons on the home screen predictive app status bar search can be enabled or disabled from here going to quick settings this is how quick setting panel looks now let's go to settings and trust me guys now it is one of the highly customizable room all the customization options can be found under personalization and under this you have status bar customizations quick settings buttons navigation gestures lock screen power menu recents notification miscellaneous so first of all i would like to show you some additional gestures available in system so here you have additional gestures available like ambient display hand wave pocket pulse proximity wake and everything is working fine on this room including fingerprint sensor and fingerprint notification slider and now you can also add multiple fingerprints on this room Wall services are working perfectly fine no call drops no network drops nothing as of now talking about customizations you have option to change the alignment of date am pm can be enabled or disabled from here battery icon can be changed you have almost 7 to 8 battery icons available in which you can choose any of these also you can include the battery percentage network traffic indicator can be enabled from here in buttons volume rocker gives you option to swap volume buttons when your device is rotated you can also use volume button to wake up your device or answer the call accidental touch can be enabled from here and you have few other options of back button home button and overview button lock screen can be customized from here including media art lock screen charging info fingerprint authentication face auto unlock under power menu you can choose all these options as i have selected few here i'll just show you let me press the power button and you will be able to see all the options under power menu under recents you can find immersive recents and from here you can also hide applications which you do not want to be seen on recents notification gives you few options of in call vibrations Under miscellaneous it gives you few options of media transfer instead of charging wake up on charge and the last one here is show cpu info so if you enable this you will get all the cpu information along with the temperature so these are the customization options everything is working fine including night mode so if you enable this you can also set the intensity Double tap to sleep and double tap to wake is working fine no issues in that also It comes pre-installed with Google camera and which works fine. Picture quality of this Google camera is really amazing, no doubt in that. Video recording can be chosen from here if you want to change the resolution. You can go to the settings and change the resolution from here. And talking about the performance, there were no issues while playing high-end games like Asphalt 8. Everything was pretty smooth, no lags, no hitting issue on the device and the device performs absolutely great let's take a look on the benchmark results using geekbench application so under this single core code 832 wherein multi core code 4203 pretty good results on this rom going with antutu bench application and under this results are 80514 this also scored pretty good scores and talking about the fluidity and the smoothness of the device as you can see there are no lags as of now and till now i haven't encountered any bug on this rom so if you want to use it as a daily driver you can install this rom 
and if you want to know the installation process you can check out my video in the description below a dedicated video has been made for installing custom roms on mi a1 so follow that guide and you will be easily able to install this rom so guys as of now only this much in this video and if you like this video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day